Mm. Welcome to episode 18. Let me tempt you we're, with my body. We're legal now, man. <laughs> Nothing Watch about out. this is legal. Fathers, lock up your earth bounds. <laughs> Mothers, don't let your babies grow up to be earth bounds. Uh... Here we are at the automatic teller machine, experiencing the wonders of technology. <laughs> Just... What kind of weird kid rolls around with 4,000... Well... Wait... $4,225. I wonder who runs the, like, automatic clearing house in, uh, uh, Eagle Land. Oh! What the... Oh! Not another one of these guys. Oh, this is a pizza man, okay. This guy's a magnificent mustache, though. This this game is the best kind of racist. I swear. Let's just pretend that you're Lars, and I'll give this to you. Oh! Oh, buddy! I need you to zip that back up. Excuse me while I whip this out. This game is really is really great about just going off. And, and saying whatever comes to mind <laughs> in the text box. You it's know? very stream there's of no, consciousness. There's no real rhyme or reason to the to the dialogue in this game. It's really there for its own sake. Good. That's how I like it. For its own sake. What is this? For God's sake. Do not fight any more repetitive battles. Uh, I can't make any promises about that. I can't make any promises. I promise you nothing. And I offer you only pain. Gross. So what were we doing last time? I, I totally don't remember. I don't think I've ever, in a single one of these episodes, I don't think we've started one with me on <laughs> on the right on page. point yeah you have been ready to go so let, permit me a moment of reflection in which to review the actions of our previous episode we are still in three yes we have not solved the zombie problem yet because we can't get past two dudes. Correct. Wait, so... We, we have the... We have the means to end this problem. We have... We have the fly honey. We have the fly honeys. We got, like, a, a hot black lady in short pants. <laughs> and we got the zombie paper. So... Which I think is, like, sticky stuff you put down. Ugh... God, it's garbage. It's Carry inferior to the to the zombie parchment. Yes. Made from zombie leather. <laughs> in a post-apocalyptic a post-apocalyptic God. In a zombie-infested world, do you think that products made from zombies would become important? Like more to the point. If you wrapped food products in zombie paper, would you <laughs> become a zombie from eating them? I'm not sure. For example, if you got a hamburger wrapped up in zombie paper, would it have the zombie virus or curse or whatever zombie causality depends on infused in it. I think that the, the, the common style today is that zombies are caused by a virus. That's, that seems to be standard. Uh, so it would, it would depend on what makes... what invalidates the zombie virus. So if it's actually like a, a proper virus, it might just go bad after a while, or whatever, you, whatever treatments you use to make leather would... In, like, cause it to become non-viable. You know what I'm saying? Well, hold on. What, what, what are... How can the zombie virus be transmitted? 
Is it often, airborne? Often by bites. It depends on... There's a lot of different uh, ones. It, uh, the one I've been reading about lately is The Walking Dead. In The Walking Dead, everyone has the virus all the time. And so, if you die, you become a zombie. End of discussion. So... Ah! Is that how it works? You can't become a zombie while you're still alive? Correct. But in the Romero thing, if you get bitten by a zombie, you're basically gonna become a zombie. And it's... that's like the thing. Hmm... Did you notice that in that drugstore you could buy a thing called a cap? What is happening? Uh, I think we got. I think one of our. I think Naomi just got hypnotized. Oh, hypnotized. Okay. But did you notice there was an item in that drugstore called a calorie stick? <laughs> really? It is just a raw stick of calories. You eat this, you have the energy. <laughs> I'm going back in there to see it. Yeah! Level up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, damn! Who needs school? We're increasing our IQ just by <laughs> bashing up puppets. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> if that could happen in real life, the party store would have a serious problem. <laughs> I'm here for Jim puppets. Hansen, the most intelligent man in history. <laughs> He's got what we need. Oh, I think we can, uh, yeah. Uh, Rust uh. promoter. Is that just like a vial of oxygen or something? <laughs> yes, yeah, so there will be something else. I almost said mother effer, but I just... Uh... Huh. Apparently only Rob Z can use bottle rockets. Wow. First of all, women obviously that. can't use fireworks. <laughs> and uh, Lars probably can't. So that rules Ness out. Yeah. I mean, Lars. <laughs> Sissy woman that he is. Alright. Oh, I want to see about these calorie sticks. Hey, yo, man. Let me hold one of them calorie sticks. <laughs> it's Try one. See what it does. I don't know what it does. Do you know what it does? I, I know exactly what it does. It gives you energy. It gives you calories. It makes you survive. It makes you continue to live. Heart not gonna stop beating. <laughs> Relax! Oh, 60 hit points. Uh, about 60 HP. Yeah. As if it's ever going to Maybe be Maybe 59. Else. You know, 1 is about 60 in the, <laughs> you know, grand scheme of things. Uh, we're gonna buy a whole crap load of those, because 60 hit points is a pretty big deal to about half of our party. How many do you think constitutes a crap load? Uh, in this game, 4. <laughs> because... Good God, look at these inventories. You have to imagine, if if those are our inventories, we have some pretty big pockets. True, that, that backpack must be stacked to the max. I mean, I've never seen a broken key machine in real life, but it doesn't <laughs> sound small. Excuse me, sir, it's a bad key machine? Oh, isn't it? Also, we have a town map that includes a pretty detailed map of every town there is. That is obviously a GPS. <laughs> kind of Tom Tom in that bag. It's a Tom map. Yeah. Uh, let's go beat some horrible creatures to death. Oh no, not this again. We we must. Don't don't, don't touch that. We must. Da -da 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 -da. Don't touch that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! Hammer! Please! You're hurting them! I, I asked you when I created this album to not hurt them. And Hammer, sir, you're hurting them. Yeah! Oh god. Ugh. 
Is he holding a scepter? Is that what that is? <laughs> I don't... I can't tell what that is. I think it might or be a flower. Maybe he's tossing a piece of garbage up into the air out of his palm. And it's just connected and those, to and his the, hand by a line, a string of filth. It's, well, it's, it's the movement line, oh, you know, wow. so it indicates that it's moving from his hand. No, the, the smelly ghost just has two disembodied penises in front of him. <laughs> those are emotion lines. I don't have hands. <laughs> No, don't let. Oh, crap. Yeah! Deliver the hits, Naomi. Dang. Spy on that thing. Lay the oh, beat crap. down We're... on that ass. Side See, he's fire, got movement flash. lines, too. He, you can tell he's shaking his belly. That's what I'm saying. He's got. The, those are the disembodied penises to which I earlier referred. He's really just trying to give a gang sign, but he's sort of incapable of it since he doesn't have, you know... <laughs> also, Lars is homesticking him. We need to call our mom. Lars. Man up. We're real. You were the hot chick and some kind of aspiring rapper. So... <laughs> oh my god! We're never gonna kill it if he doesn't hit it! We have important meteors to investigate. For real. Ah, thank god. <laughs> we made the ghost cry. Ugh. So I watched some videos the other day of, of that meteor exploding over Russia. <laughs> Did you see the video of the extremely unimpressed dude? Like, you saw it on his dash cam, he just reaches up and pulls down his sun visor? <laughs> no. That one made me giggle. I don't know if it's real or not. Anyway, uh, what'd you think of the exploding meteorite? I look pretty cool. Never seen a meteorite in real life. Didn't the bits well, of it hit a factory and hurt a bunch of people? Uh, I saw a, at least one video of a bunch of windows being blown out in what looked like a factory. Badass. But I don't know if anybody getting hurt from it. The, the news report said nobody was killed, so... Okay. That's good. Aww. Mama said there'd be days like this. Aww. Put, put Rob Z on the phone. <laughs> I want to know there's someone responsible there. Lars, 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 listen. Listen. Is there an adult there? Hooray! <laughs> I wish there was some indicator other than him become, becoming completely combat and effective. <laughs> Let me hit that butterfly. I guess we should... Alright, I want to fight... I want Naomi to level up one more time. And then yeah. I think we're, we should go deploy the zombie paper. And the fly honey. Did you ever watch that show In Living Color back in the day? No. Describe it in excruciating detail. Prepare yourself. Um, In Living Color was, was kind of like a... Uh, it was a variety show in the vein of Saturday Night Live and Mad TV, uh, but specifically, that guy is freaking out. Find him. He's asking for it. The urban zombie. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Lock the doors. Check your wallet. Andrew, get behind me. I have a gun. Maybe, maybe it's the, really the urbane zombie, and it's just a typo. No, he's just attacking me. He's attacking you in a very oh. learned fashion. <laughs> it's like the British guys in Family Guy. Original. I disagree. <laughs> Bring it. Nobody said anything about ghosts. It's a zombie possessor. I heard there was a zombie problem. I didn't hear anything about a ghost problem. There's a... We're not... If you, have a, if you have a ghost problem, then you can call a team of competent 
Ghostbusters. <laughs> we are not that team. I don't even have a proton pack. For God's sake. Yeah, give it to him. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? What was it? It said the urban zombie did something very mysterious, and it didn't work on the <laughs> <AOP. laughs> <laughs> Just did some sleight of hand and nothing happened. It's like, what the hell was that? Keeps telling me about finding the queen. Oh! Oh my god. Oh god. Hey yo, fly! Let me get some of that fly honey. At any rate, uh, In Living Color was kind of like, this is kind of reductive, but it was sort of the, like, Saturday Night Live for mostly black people. Like, it was started by the, the, the Wayans brothers and, like, their sister. And it, was, it starts out like, it's mostly the Wayans as they had, uh, David Allen Greer and Tommy Davidson. And, uh, Jim Carrey got his start on, uh, I'm an idiot, by the way. I'm in a terrible so it's finance. called In a Living Color because they're all colored. That's the joke. Perhaps it was. It was also a really funny show. Oh. It's like before the Wayanses became started making scary movies. By which I mean movies in the scary movie franchise. I like scary movie too. I never saw scary. I, I saw fun. scary movie one, but that was the only one I ever saw. I, I remember I saw Scary Movie 1 and I thought it was the dumbest thing. I had absolutely <laughs> no interest in it. Then I went into Scary Movie 2 with such low expectations that I couldn't help but come out, you know, somewhat refreshed. Nice. Wait a minute. Also, these are... Uh, I, I saw Scary Movie 1 in a much uh, less party environment. Oh, so, really? That made Scary Movie 2 pretty good. Doing anything with your bros makes it anything. better. Like playing Earthbound. Yeah, for example. Something that I probably would be in a coma by now if, I, if you weren't here. Andrew, if it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Dead! Dead. By the time that bee started talking to me, I'd just be like, <laughs> forget this. <laughs> this has gotten way too real. <laughs> I was accosted by a bee just this week. But he... A bee! He was not. Wasn't our show initially called that? Wasn't that one yes. of our ideas? We were going to name them all a bee I well, not. We, <laughs> it turns we called, out... We called it that, yeah. <laughs> and then we so realized <laughs> that someone else already used that joke, so... Well, that was out. Yep. All right. So we went back to our our old reliable pool of inside jokes and just used something out of that that pile. So I guess we're just supposed to. <laughs> People keep telling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, where is it? Who is the dan? Oh. Use. Great. Where is it? On the floor. Can't you read? Dang. So, they they just happen to print zombie paper in the exact same color and <laughs> pattern as the floor in this room. I mean, the jar of fly honey can't be used here. You have to use it on the paper. You have to find the piece of paper. Oh, God. Talk to this idiot again. <laughs> just imagine, when we wake up tomorrow, it'll be really gross. What the hell am I supposed to do with this fly honey, then? Well, okay. What was the context in which we acquired the fly honey? We had to murder so, a giant we... circus tent. Oh, that's right. The... Oh, Belch's most favorite food in the whole world. It's got major stinkage. Maybe we need to go find those zombies up north and give it to one of them. Well, we got the... We were talking to some dude around here who... And we, we had a good laugh about it when he said, you know, honey comes from bees and fly honey comes from flies. Yeah. 
came as a whole was lot it, down. Was it the ass-faced man? Ooh, it might have been the ass-faced Oh, God. What just happened? Oh, final battle. <laughs> Great, and we leveled up. We don't need to level up. We want Naomi to level up. Yeah. Hey, we learned Hypnosis Omega. Hey, it's these guys. Oh! <laughs> well, now that that's taken care of, can I interest you I gentlemen? I just want to fight these zombies. We fought like ten of you guys so far. Now, let me just beat these two assholes to death and move on. Okay, it must be... Mars isn't... A... I, think, I think the use of the fly honey will become apparent when it... when waiting is filled. Hmm. Lars just isn't assertive enough. No. Just pull out that bat some... and bust some skulls, man. Exactly. He needs to, to take a class or something on this. He needs to get his concealed carry permit. Blap, blap, stick out these zombies. Two shots. This game's got weirdly gangster. How long have we been doing this, by the way? Uh, about... Since I checked, it's been about six minutes, but we were doing it for about ten minutes before I checked, oh, so... The zombies are on the move. I'm gonna say it's been about... probably about fifteen minutes that we've, we've been going now. Okay, cool. Oh no! Oh good. It's a damn it's zombie seen. convention. Here we are in the... It'd be awesome if we just go in there and just have to fight a thousand zombies. Like, can you imagine uh, how this would play out in, like, an actual episode of, like, a, in, like, an actual zombie movie? Just 50,000 <laughs> zombies stuck to the ground. Characters, like, walking in, like, with baseball bats just taking them out one at a time. We have a, a pair of those lawn aerating shoes. <laughs> just have the nails on the bottom of them. Stomping zombies one at a time. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I arrested some zombies. Oh, oh, the phone's ringing. I'm not gonna answer that. Ring, ring. Phone's ringing, dude. I know. I should have should have foreseen that this might happen. You fool! And not included it in the episode, but. Let us go and strike them down. Oh, that's what I, that's what I get for having a landline. You know, you just can't have a landline nowadays. It might ring. <laughs> Nobody wants that to happen. This guy is a serious creeper. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna just put some pretty girl paper on this BMW. And find some pretty. Oh no! I don't want to talk this about. You monster! Now you're the monster! <laughs> There's a piece of graffiti in Left 4 Dead on this all one of the safe rooms that says, like, We are the real monsters! In, like, one color of marker. And then a bunch of other people who have come to the safe room have written below. It's like, no, that's the zombies, you retard! <laughs> Stuff like that. Cowards. No response. It suddenly becomes a... A Twilight Zone episode, you hold a mirror up to your face, and it's like, ah! The mirror break, breaks, and a, uh, I don't know, a ghost comes out or something. Yeah. The tiny man with a laser gun was actually from America. And because the lady is giant! Man, the Twilight Zone was awesome. Why are we killing I woke, these guys? I woke up out of... I woke up out of my coma and realized that the sun, that the Earth was moving away from the sun, and we were all going to die of extreme cold. <laughs> Earthbound can end in many Twilight Zone sorts of ways that would. M. Light Shyamalan could take a real hint from the Twilight Zone. I don't know where he's going. I thought Unbreakable was a pretty sweet movie. Yeah, I really liked Unbreakable. I, thought... I wish he'd just stop making stupid movies and just make, a, like, the sequel to that. Oh. I thought Signs was a really good movie, too. You know? I've never it seen it. Pretty cr 
it was pretty creepy. You know, it's one of those things where... Well... It's the fact... Everything before you see the alien is really cool. And it's, it's also really cool the way... Uh, it's not just about... I mean, it's about the aliens, but it's really about signs. Like the concept of a sign. There are signs everywhere in that movie. Right. And, like, it's all about how people interpret signs and, and that sort of thing. Someone advanced a theory on ARFCON yesterday that it was, uh... 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 Oh, no! We've been possessed by a ghost. Useless. Ah, get it off. <laughs> so, someone advanced a theory on a forum that, uh... Oh, for crap's sake! Body solidified? Can you only damage it when it's solidified or something? No, it, it solidified one of us, which I think paralyzes them. So I'm gonna hit these oh. dudes with some, some science. Some sci -ins. Anyway, the theory that somebody had advanced was that uh, it was a fairy tale rather than a science fiction movie. Which I thought was interesting. Like you said, it's about, like, how these ideas come to be and how they affect people rather than about the thing itself. Because, yeah, it's really dumb that an alien with a spaceship would come to a place where water is its natural enemy. But, like, it's... what the hell is that? So this needs to F off, Ghost? man. Is that like a status ailment or something? Oh, I guess... Turn the other direction and it'll appear. Ugh, these boo diddlies no, are the, the worst. Other direct no, the other direction. Oh. 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 You're only t turning two possible directions. I'm turning every possible direction now. All eight. Do we have any kind of... Now I'm worried. Yeah, he's, he's got the he's got that ghost affliction. I don't know what it does. Oh, he's possessed. What the hell does that mean? He's a slave. You have to free Lars. I'm worried about what that's gonna do to his like ability to fight. Oh, just don't worry about it. It'll go away. I'm just gonna, walk around, I'm, walk it off. I'm gonna save the game. In case, in case okay. things get nasty. Walk off this possession. Get the priest on the phone. Exorcism? Oh. That's for chumps. Zombie dog. Anyway, what do you think of that, uh, the notion that that movie is not a science fiction film and anybody who, like, attacks its logic on the grounds that it ought to be sensible is dumb? I, I mean, I, I suppose I entirely agree, because I never had the impression that it was a science fiction film. Like, I mean, that, that just never even occurred to me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's not about the alien. I mean, it's a really stupid thing for the alien to be, for its weakness to be water. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it, it's complete, that's completely irrelevant to what's going on in that movie. I see. I, I've determined what the tiny little ghost is. It's possession. We already established. Well, no, it, it's um, actively attack. Oh, it, it's acting like another enemy in every encounter that we can't fight, and so it just takes a turn and attacks one of our colleagues each time. Gosh, that's. Also, that's it, it, it's, it's also what's um, paralyzing us from time to time. Yep. See, one damage. Yeah. Little ghost. Shita! Do you have like, like some holy water or something? No, I'm I'm without ghost repellent. See, it, it froze. It froze Lars up, which immediately wore it wore off, but it made him skip his turn. I'm not sure. I think we might need to turn back. And deal no. with this fucking ghost. We don't need to turn back. Okay. You can't see right now, but I'm waving my hand. <laughs> Negative. Good dog. We need to heal Naomi up. 
Our goods. What the hell is a handmaid? Uh, it heals uh, your wounded body. Heals your wounded body! It's gone after one use. Yep. It, I, I guess that's standard for a band-aid. You know, you wouldn't use a band-aid twice. True. Unless you could boil it or something. One of my colleagues in, uh, my <laughs> design writing class. Whoa! Uh, oh, wait. Ta-da! Ta -da! You can't just pull out a ta-da like that. <laughs> oh, hey. There was a <laughs> Sandwich DX. All right, casket sandwich. Don't mind if I do. I'll eat that sandwich. Oh, it's a... Let's find out what it does. Ta da! It makes you skip. Okay. It's probably a way of escaping something. I think it actually just makes you run really fast in the overworld, so if you need to, like, slip by an enemy that's quick. Well, yeah, I, I think there's gonna be some giant thing later on in this dungeon or whatever, and uh, the object is gonna be to run away from it before it gets you. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. And they're giving it this to you now, so. That probably won't happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I have no precedent for, in this game for thinking that, so... So stop thinking. Yeah. What do you call those sorts of levels in video games where uh, the back of the screen sort of continually moves, and if you get trapped uh, uh, in a space and can't... It, like, it, like, it's like like of a wall of fire or a tidal wave or something is chasing you. Or the ones in Mario yeah. where it's like you're on a... There's like a Sonic mission where you're on a plane or something. I know what I you're talking about. I, mean, I don't know if there's a... Georg. 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 I'm from Geatland. Since you had fly, honey, I consider you a friend. <laughs> He's just laying it all the lines. Like, look, man, here's what's going down. You got the fly, Wait, honey. Why is this enough? Does he no longer consider us a friend? Is that? Oh shit. Oh. It was exactly that. What? Cack. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you betrayed me? Look at his face. Et tu, Gak. <laughs> oh, tiny barf. How did it come to this? <laughs> his eyes. I, I totally imagine it being kind of hairy and just having googly eyes. <laughs> just a googly eyes stuck to a barf. <laughs> I'm gonna try to set it on fire. That seems like the sort of thing that might work on a tiny barf. I'm gonna spy on it too. Remember that SNL skit where, uh, who was it? Um, put googly eyes on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy who like was, it was like a gardener who was terrified of plants. Yeah. So you see, <laughs> I got this palm tree, and I put the googly eyes on it. <laughs> it was Christopher, was that? Christopher Walken. <laughs> Yeah, it was Christopher Walken did that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with the Hope Gnosis. Ugh, no, never mind. You have Alpha and Omega. There is no Beta Hypnosis. You can't, there's no half measures, man. I'm gonna hit it with the film. Uh, let's see if I can... Fire! Hit it with the film. <laughs> the snuff film. Oh god. Hit it with the 8mm. Ugh. It's useless. No! Ugh. Everybody on our team is a moron. I'm just gonna try to mash up this barf with this bat. Uh, I wonder if I can freeze it. Is this a boss? Are you finding a boss? I'm not sure, but I'm not taking any chances. Hooray! No- oh! <laughs> I can actually makes like a burp noise. <laughs> Offense 45. Vulnerable to fire. Roger. 
eat it. Uh. I'll say it again. I really enjoy the music in this game. Yeah. It's really... It, <laughs> it's real ambient, but yeah. it gives a neat sort of... Uh, like mysterious feel to all these yeah uh, boss encounters and you know there's that time we went to the chaos theater and saw that uh, what are they called the the fleeing five or whatever Ma. oh yeah the the theater troupe yeah no they were they were a band that was it yeah they it was, played the blues the Runaway Five, that's what they were called. Oh my god! Hit it! We need eye drops that's, or something. That's its power. It's. It's made us all cry, and I think that's making agile. us miss all the time. No, he's got nothing. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to keep hitting it with the side. Do it. Gotta flash it. Set it on Don't fire. Flash it. Shoot it. Stop doing that! Yeah! Now you're crying too, butthole! Ugh. Finally. You know, it tells you what all its attacks are called, but is there really any, you know, utility in that? Is there any reason to know that stuff? The spinning out of sticky mucus? Like, sticky mucus. I've never seen that attack before. I don't know what that does. Or what, you know, how much damage it does, or what, what its effects are. It might as well be called anything. Because yeah. there's no standard, you know, set of attacks in this game. You know, in Final Fantasy, you have, uh... Oh, like, God. Like, Dia does one thing. Yeah. And it does that thing whether you use it or an enemy uses it or whatever. Wait, Dia was from... F -f 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 Persona. Hooray! Oh. Ooh, dang. Was it? Yeah. I can swear there was a Dia in Final Fantasy. There's, like... The, the, the ones in Final Fantasy always go, like... Cura... Or, Cura, Cura, Curaga. That kind of thing. At least since... When did that start? It was a it was a life drain spell, I think. Do you? That makes sense. <laughs> I wanted to get you a fly honey. Yorg. Little fucker. There better be a magic butterfly around here somewhere. Oh. Uh, there is not. Just a creepy old man. Dia, also known as Harm, is oh. a recurring spell in the Final Fantasy series. It is a white magic spell, albeit with different effects in different games. Its original use in the first game of... Its original use in the first game of Harming Undead Foes has been obsoleted by the ability to target enemies as well as allies with the Cure line. Damn. Obsoleted. Not a literary man. <laughs> writing for the Final Fantasy wiki. We need to find a way- ooh. 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 So let the record show I was right and you were wrong. Let the record show that I'm holding a controller. I can cause a stop to be to this at any time. What is, what's happening? Why are you, like, bouncing backwards a little bit over time? Shut up, talky man. It doesn't matter because we we need to end this episode. Alright. As long as no combat happens. Package. Oh! A bomb! Oh, God! <laughs> no, he took it! She dived on the bomb! Hey, like, <laughs> no! Think fast! Hot potato, hot potato! <laughs> we're next to a lake! Throw it in the lake! This is a long-ass walk we're on. Oh! Don't fight that Oh, shit. Topic. Go go around that zombie. Not possible. You should, you should have fought the other zombie. <laughs> at least you would have progressed forward. Oh, look at those little guys. Oh, they're adorable! Set them on fire. How am I supposed to attack that? What, what could I possibly do against that? 
Oh, the tiny ghost. Blah, blah. It's a farm zombie. Well, that's gone extremely well. It was produced in a zombie farm. It's like a puppy farm, only, you know, <laughs> a bloodier. Gross. Punch that zombie in the face! Oh, God's sake, tiny ghost. So, uh... You, you mentioned that the current mythology of zombies is that they are virus-created. Yeah. Do virus zombies still have to eat particularly brains? Do... Zombies don't have to eat anything. They are consumed by a desire so to do. Like, a zombie will just keep on trucking if it can find nothing to eat. Although, there was a movie recently called Warm Bodies, where if zombies eat brains... Zombies want to eat brains, and do eat brains, because it makes them more human for a little while. Hmm. It makes them, like, remember who they were. And then if zombies don't- oh! Oh! A protein drink! Alright, we need to heal up. That's actually another bomb! Oh, oh god! No! <laughs> Lars took out a calorie stick and Robsy ate it out of his hand! <laughs> the hell's wrong with you, Robsy? He just leaned right over. <laughs> just... We're almost up out of PP, man. Oh! Oh. I, I really want to fight that, but I think we should wait till next time. What do you say? Your call, man. Can we just save here? Can we stop here? Yes. And not... Okay, let's do it. Alright. Ending. Party people, catch you next time. My peeps. My bros. Comrades. Tovarish.